More than two dozen abandoned boats and counting. That is what a local nonprofit has pulled from area waters. The Vessel Disposal and Reuse Foundation is now two years old and wants to build on the momentum. Investigative reporter Chris Horn has been covering VDRF since its humble beginnings. That's right, Regina. Mike Provost knew what he wanted to do, clean up our local waterways. His foundation fills a gap to make them safer and more sustainable. And he's starting year three with an event where you can show support. Vessel Disposal and Reuse Foundation started with an idea. Get rid of rotting, abandoned, and derelict boats in area waters and the hazards and ugliness they bring. This was the first two years ago in Broad Bay. Now, founder Mike Provost wants to ride a wave of support much further. I just think it's incredible that through the generosity of corporate sponsors and, and private donors, we've been able to remove 29 abandoned and derelict vessels. So that's over 300,000 pounds of hazardous debris kept out of our waterways. Removing boats, raising money, getting grants. Provost credits city council members Chris Taylor and Josh Schulman for helping him get a grant from the Virginia Marine Resources Commission for $275,000. We have not received those funds yet, but once we do, we'll remove another 18 abandoned derelict vessels from Virginia's waterways. I thought that was a really awesome and a great thing to do for the community, and I want to be a part of it in any way. So Amber Ferguson will host as many as 197 supporters for a January fundraiser here at Gala 417, with all ticket revenue benefiting VDRF. They'll be invited to um, either go into the ballroom and find their VIP section or come over to the bar and grab some beverages. Provost wants to keep the momentum flowing and says his next target will be the North Landing River area. Wavy has been there since literally day one, the very first project, and has been instrumental in us getting exposure, corporate sponsors, and private donors. And tickets are available for the January 6th fundraiser for the next three weeks. We have a link to them on wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.